Hi guys and welcome to today's video. We are talking about a highlight and contour palette that came in my May BoxyCharm subscription. I keep thinking it's April still, this year is getting away from me. But this came in my May BoxyCharm subscription and that is this highlight and contour palette from IBY Beauty. I have received products from IBY Beauty before, uh, always in subscription boxes. I received a eyeshadow trio, which is this Threes Company trio right here, and I also received a lip liner. I will put the links to both of those videos in the description below, where I talked a little bit more about IBY Beauty as a company. There's not really a whole lot to say about them as a company. It doesn't talk a lot about their founder or any kind of vision for the company other than it's called Inspired by You, IBY Beauty. Uh, they seem to be expanding their product line all the time. I believe they are a fairly new company still. So when I went to research IBY Beauty before, there were more limited products. Now they have a wider variety. They have BB creams and um, concealers and different palettes and they seem to be expanding their beauty line. So I think they are new and sort of moving into the market. This palette here is going to set you back $40 American, which is actually pretty consistent with the price of this trio. So basically this is six shades you're going to get here, three contour and three highlight, as opposed to their eyeshadow trio, which is obviously three pans, which is $19. So basically this with three little shades in it is half the amount of this with six shades, although the ones are larger in the highlight and contour palette. In looking at the product itself, it comes in basically a um, textured cardboard palette here. Uh, it does have a nice mirror inside that says Inspired by You underneath it. And then you get the three highlight and three contour shades. Now, I'll show you some swatches here and you'll probably be able to see that for the highlight shades, I find highlight one and highlight two to be pretty indifferent from each other, like pretty similar when you actually start looking at it uh, on the skin. Highlight 3 is definitely the softest of the three and has more of a pink shade to it. If you start to go into the contour shades, uh, they are all quite a bit softer, especially contour 2, but what you'll notice here that I quite like is the contours are not necessarily light, medium, dark. They are three different undertone. So I find the first one has much more of a red undertone to it. The second one is more neutral and the third is the deepest but has a little bit of a grayish undertone. I find that they are nicely different from each other but it's done in such a way so no matter what your skin shade is, whether you are very fair or very deep, um, you can use these with different amounts of pressures, but it actually is corresponding more to skin undertones, I find, than to skin shade, if that makes sense. I have been using this for about a week now. I got my BoxyCharm subscription crazy early this month for some reason, and I definitely have some thoughts and recommendations on this palette. So I am having a bit of a love-hate <laughs> going for this palette. And it'd be pretty easy for me to tell you, love, hate, not hate, indifferent. So here's the thing is I don't find, let's talk about the bad first. I don't find these highlight shades to be highlight shades. If somebody tells me they're giving me a highlight and contour palette, I'm going to expect matte contours and I'm going to expect some kind of highlight that gives me some kind of glow. Um, now I understand there is contour that is just lighter contour to lighten up parts of your face, but I don't find I need that generally. Usually I will match, you know, sort of my under eye concealer a little bit lighter. So basically these shades are three matte highlight shades. So you're not going to be doing any kind of cheekbone highlighting, you know, center of the nose. There's nothing going to make you look like you're glowing or anything like that. And I don't find them to be that soft. You know, they're, they're, it's not like they're chalky, but they're not like creamy, nice shades. So because they're not going to be giving you that glow kind of highlight, I was looking at these going, okay, well, maybe they're good at like under eye setting, but they're not great at that either. When I tried to do that and I thought, okay, maybe you can do a bit of color correcting because one's a little bit pink, one's a little bit yellower. Um, this one was much too dark. The pink shade was too dark for doing any kind of under eye powdering after doing my concealer. And the other two just looked a little too heavy under my eyes. It was like it accentuated 
the texture that I had under my eyes, which is not what I'm going for. So the only way that I find to use these is as a base for my eyeshadow. So if I put down a concealer as a eyeshadow primer, which I will often do, and I like to powder over that to then give myself sort of a blank slate to start with, and so I'm blending powder on powder, is I like to go in with a light shade to be able to do that. And I do find these work for that, but I don't need this much, and I don't need these many, and I have I have actual eyeshadows in other palettes that I can do to, I can use to do that. So I don't necessarily need three matte white shades. So as far as a highlighting contour palette, for me, just take out the highlight because it's not a highlight. What I really like about this palette are these contour shades. They are quite soft, especially contour two, and I find these to be not powdery at all. I do find the highlights to be powdery, but I do not find the contour shades to be powdery. And I find that I really like the tones of these. So this one that is a little bit more red, it's almost like doing a bronze contour at the same time for me. And if you have trouble finding sort of a red undertone bronzer, this may be something that you like. And then I find this one to be a sort of nice neutral contour for me. So I did my contour today, um, sort of on my cheekbones, a little bit of more bronzy red. Um, I used the sort of reddish one along my hairline a little bit. Uh, and I even went in very lightly with this deeper one to do just at the top ends of my contour on my cheeks and also a little bit of both of these along, um, you know, my jawline and down my chin and neck. Try to get rid of a little bit of double chin there. Um, and I really like these. I find that they are pigmented in a sense where if you really went in there with it and put it on, you're going to get a lot. But then at the same time, it's blendable. So it's easy to blend it out. If you put a little bit too much on, you just keep blending and it blends beautifully. So I do think I will go back to these. They are good size pans and you know, the highlights are up above and they're not going to get into these. They are matte, definitely. Um, I guess the nice thing about these not being shimmer highlights is you're not going to get any shimmer into your contour. Um, but all this to say, I am definitely going to keep using the bottom half of this palette. I am unlikely to ever use the top half of this palette. And this is where I tend to have a problem a little bit with palettes is generally if you are going to spend money for a large palette, you're spending money on all these shades. So if I'm dropping $40 American for this, which let's face it is probably going to be about $60 Canadian, which makes these about $10 per shade Canadian, and then I'm not going to use half of them or even I just don't use a third of them, why did I spend my money on that? I would rather buy exact singles of what I'm going to use if it's a face palette. I personally rarely get excited about face palettes or contour palettes or highlight palettes because you're probably going to have one really favorite shade and I'd rather buy a single. It's different if it is a eyeshadow palette because they're meant to be very different shades that you can do different fun things with. But as far as contour and bronzer and, you know, certain kinds of highlight go, you're trying to find the one that really works well for you. You don't really want a variety of them. So do I think this is a buy? <sighs> It is a no, and I'm going to say that's because I don't think you're going to get use out of everything in this palette, and it's not inexpensive enough. Like if this was a $20 palette or less, I would say, yeah, go for it and get use out of like maybe two of these contour shades because they have really nice different undertones to them. But $40 for the whole thing, I'm just not gonna call that a buy. So while I do think this is a good formula for the contours, I don't think it's worth buying the entire thing. My last tip I'm going to say here, if you did get one of these in your BoxyCharm box, because I was having a uh, conversation in the comments, and I love getting comments, leave me comments, I respond to all of them, we will have a chance to chat about neutral natural eye looks, and what are some really good shades or palettes for getting nice natural crease shades and blending shades and all of that. These, these are wonderful. I have a number of these in my um, crease today and because they are different undertones, I can kind of build them up in different ways. If you are ever looking for a nice matte, um, very natural color to put into your crease, 
go to your bronzers, go to your contours. They already naturally go with your skin tone and they tend to be nice matte colors. And I do find these to be very blendable, even on the eyes. So that is my review for the day. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know about you getting this in your BoxyCharm box, what you thought of it. Did you like all of it? Did you like any of it? Um, would you consider this something that you would repurchase? I would love to hear from you guys. So that is it for today for me. I hope you enjoyed it. As I said, if you have not subscribed to me yet, but you want to see more of my reviews, you can click on my face, which is probably right about here right now somewhere. And I would also encourage you to watch one of my older videos, which will pop up right over here. Go ahead, click, click. <laughs> and I will see you in my next video. Bye.